Hi guys, I'd now like to show you a fantastic passing drill. Like always, I use a three-step program. First of all, we want the kids to understand how and where they have to run to. They have to understand what they actually have to do, and once they get those two things down, I try to raise the intensity of the drill. One, understand what's expected. Two, technique and accuracy. Raise the intensity. Three, we have two groups of players, and to understand how and where we have to run to, we first take the ball in our hands. We start off on this side with the red group, and after that the blue group. I usually prefer to divide the kids in groups, distinguished by colors, instead of choosing five kids to go to the left and five to go to the right. Putting them in color groups might save you some time. Lucas, we start off here. You throw the ball to Stefan, and Stefan throws it back to you. Then you throw it across diagonally to Fabian. After you've thrown it wide, each player moves forward one position. Stefan runs over there, you run back on the outside, past the goal and through the set of red cones, which is a starting position. Throw the ball, throw it a second time, and then throw it back. And on to the next position. You guys do the same. Throw it to him, then throw it diagonally. Yes, and now the blue group. Throw the ball, throw it back, then over there and on to the next position. Turn around, start to turn around. Yes, turn around. Diagonally. All right. Each of you at least once. OK, wait. You might have noticed that I corrected the kids once. We start off right here at the set of cones, and we keep an eye on the ball. But when you throw back the ball here, turn around immediately and don't watch the ball, because by now the next player is ready to go. Now, let's start passing the ball with our feet. Pass the ball, drop it back, then pass it diagonally. Yes, and turn around. We stay loose and jog forward nice and easy. And the next one, one touch football. Turn around earlier, Lucas. Yes, wait till he's ready. We always return to the starting position. Keep the ball on the ground and pass it at the right moment. Turn around quicker. Good job, Fabian. Yes, rotate faster, guys. Wait for the ball to lie still. And here we go again. OK, wait. No problem, Lucas. Move on to the next position. Now both teams start simultaneously, so we're prepared for more traffic in the middle. Make sure to turn around early so that your teammate can get going. We're looking for one-touch passes here. It's only five yards. No need to control the ball with an extra touch. OK, both group simultaneously. 30 seconds. Let's go. Pass it diagonally. There you go. Yes, and back on the outside again. Inside foot passing only. Put the cone back on its place, please. Yes, well done. Try to pass with only one touch. The diagonal pass needs to be played with power and the short pass with more finesse. One touch passes. One touch passes, Dominic. All right, guys, hold on. That was OK, but you can do better. Make sure your passes are accurate. Pass it to me, Fabian. If I pass him the ball like this, he has to control first. Make sure your teammate can pass it back with one touch. See, more accuracy and pass it back. We only want one-touch passes and be light on foot. We could go on for hours like this. The long ball needs to be passed with more power. Go back to the cones and then pass me the ball. Be ready and make sure your pass is crisp. Yes, this one has to be sharper. Now here's a variation. The player running over to this side now plays a wall pass with his teammate. 
After initially passing the ball, he receives a quick pass back and then passes the ball into the open space over there. This player then returns to the starting point. The red team goes first. Kilian passes the ball while Marcus waits over there. Remember to only one touch the ball. Yes, you get the initial pass. Run over there, there you go, and pass it. Only the red team first. Try to one touch even if the pass is off. Pass it with the inside of the foot. With the inside and not the laces, Stefan. The inside of the foot. All right, and now both teams simultaneously. Diagonal pass and follow the ball. Yes, we still need this guy in the end. Help him, Stefan. Nice. Hold on. Yes, hold on, guys. Back to the starting position. You now know where you have to run to and where to pass the ball to. But you could do a better job of running over faster to the other side after you've played the initial ball of the wall pass. Try to run faster. We don't want to increase the power here, but we want to run faster. You know where the ball is going, so you run over here and complete the wall pass. One more small variation. When he passes you the ball, you should now try to incorporate an initial fake move. Let's see who's able to do it. Before you receive the ball, you make your initial move. Then you pass the ball over to the other side. Run over there and complete the wall pass. The move could be a sidestep or anything else to break free from the defender. Let's go. Yes, crisp passes. Run over there. Even faster and turn around earlier. Yes, nice. Good job, Stefan. No problem. Keep going. One touch passes. Blue team. Yes, hold on a second. Wait a second, guys. I think I saw one of you guys who made the initial fake move. Don't just stand there and wait. Try to be active. Loosen up, guys. These first passes are always one-touch passes. You can do it. Initial move, pass and quick body rotation. If the pass is off and is hard to handle, you can't just say, well, that was a bad pass. Instead, you have to put in the extra effort to handle those passes too. Just like during a match. When you're able to do that, you can run back to the starting point nice and easy. Remember, guys, quick shift of focus. Accurate wall passes. Don't forget the initial move to shake the defender and keep up the running speed. Excellent. Initial move. And still use finesse. Accurate passes. Good job, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Over there. All the way. That's why we have a starting point. Make sure the cones are positioned correctly and adjust their position if necessary. The players have to make sure not to be too stiff and not to be too glued to the spot. Try to remain light-footed and stand slightly sideways so that you're instantly ready to move. You guys, try this first without the ball. Lateral position and don't pass the ball yet. Move away from the cone. We don't have defenders here. 
Well, that didn't faze me. We need more than that. Here, take a look. Do it like I do it. Sharp moves to the side. Try to be as quick as possible and then pass back the ball. Try again, guys. Let's go. Faster, guys. Much faster. Quick, deceiving moves. Yes, I need to see this from all of you. A quick, initial move. The rest stays the same. We stay attached to the defenders. Let's go. Yes, that's better. The next in line has to be ready. Stand laterally, guys. Stay lighter foot. Run faster. That's okay. Make sure to be lighter foot, guys. Don't be pinned to the ground. You can't move fast like that. Be in a lateral position. One step back and off you go. What's your defender doing? How does he mark you? He's behind you and you're two steps ahead. We have to keep practicing this. Don't just bounce forward because the defender will be able to stay behind you. Rapid moves. Now we'll combine this with a shot on target. We do the drill just like before and then we shoot on the mini goal. Don't knock the goal over, we just want an accurate shot on goal. Same on this side. Make sure to shoot the ball with the inside of the right foot on this side. On this side, shoot on goal with the left foot. We'll switch sides in a few minutes. Make sure to do an initial move. Be as fast as you can and accurately shoot on goal. We'll start off simultaneously. Let's go. One touch. There you go. Yes. And pass it in stride. Good job, Stefan. And shoot left-footed. Left-footed. Stop, 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 guys. I don't like this. Fabian, that's not what we've talked about. When we're at the starting point, make sure that your ball is lying still. The drill always starts from a stationary position so that your teammates can prepare for the pass. And never toe poke it. Always use the inside for the diagonal pass. Pass me the ball back, Marcus. And one more time. One touch passes with high accuracy. We want the ball to be inactive. And let's go. One touch passes, Fabian. With the inside of the foot, not the outside. Here we go, guys. Lucas is now going to show us a drill, because there still might be some misunderstandings. Lucas, show us how you would start off with an active and with an inactive ball. Then I tell you what I want you to do. What would we call that? Does this make it easier for him? Now start off with the second variation that we don't want, but most players did anyway. The ball is rolling. Is it easier for him to adjust? No, it's harder. If we'd all be perfect, I'd like the moving ball better. But I want you to start off with the ball lying still. All right, guys? And before you make your move to fake out the defender, I want you to be in a lateral position. Can we all agree on that? Sure we can. Sideways? Not straight? OK. Sometimes we have to ask twice to make sure everybody understood. But that's not a problem. That's what I'm here for. Lateral position, inactive ball, and one minute full of power. Let's go. Pass the ball, yes. You forgot the fake. 
Faster, faster, faster. I usually make a player assessment after each practice, but in this case I've made it right after this passing drill. It only took this group of average skilled players a couple of minutes to figure out what they had to do and how and where they had to run to. Their skill sets were sufficient enough in the first stage of the drill when they had to process only one or two things at once. When I raised the tempo and added additional tasks, such as the fake, the lateral position and the inactive ball, they had problems to incorporate all these things correctly. Of course, it's not possible to control every little small detail. Therefore, you need to take a break at some point to get some feedback from the kids. Try to communicate in a way the kids can understand and to avoid misunderstandings. When the kids said they understood, it was apparent that there had been some progress. But once I raised the tempo again, the quality level dropped off. However, this is not unusual, since they did the drill for the first time, and therefore coaches have to be patient and keep on working with the kids on the same routines again and again. They have to defer to the fakes and the inactive ball because kids and teens need orientation points. And this will help them in a sustained manner. I'm happy with the overall performance because you can't learn everything in 20 minutes. You can only take it step by step.